Okay, so check it out. It's the middle of the night. I'm so ramped up about building this stupid thing that I can't quit. Everybody else is asleep, so I kind of got to keep it down. But, um, yeah, here's your progress. <laughs> I got uh, this upright attached, screwed through the bottom, and with this little hurricane bracket. I got another one on this one. It'll be mounted the same way, and then two screws in through the bottom. It's actually surprisingly secure. Those pieces will go on the back to sturdy it. It's pretty thin material. Um, I don't know how well you can really see this, but uh, I'm using a uh, paddle bit to drill out these holes, and then I'm going to use a jigsaw to clean up the corner pieces. I'm going to do the same thing here, here, and here. That's where my motor is going to mount. And then, um, there will be a switch and a button there to turn the whole process on. And then this is where the power supply will mount. Still haven't quite figured that one out. So the dowel will go through. And that's where the, um, the, uh, I already explained that. That's where the, the bearings will go. So, yeah. Here we go. Tools of the trade and burning at midnight oil. Okay, phase two. Put the back piece on. I don't know if I want to attach the other side to mount the top piece or if I want to just go ahead and try to mount the top piece. We'll figure it out in a minute. Alright, got the top plate on. Um, just to let you guys know, the reason I'm not recording the actual action of me actually building the stupid thing is because I have limited space, limited memory, so I just, I can't set it to record for a long time without clearing out my memory, and I'm more into building the thing than filming building the thing, so I hate that you must suffer, but <laughs> that's how it goes. Alright, just to go over it again, I got the frame all done, a few more holes and things I gotta drill in it. By and large, that's it though. You can see down here the uh, the primary rod that holds the spools. I went ahead and just stuck it in there. You can see I've got a safety pin, cotter pin. Pretty neat, I think. And then okay, the rod just fits in like that. And then put your spool on. See the other end through the hole. Pull it top, there's a washer on there. Pull it top. Lock the pin in place. And you're all square. <clears throat> and then up here, the mechanism for winding the rings to make the long springs. And I'll just be able to get a couple wing screws and slide the mandrel loose. And there we go. All the motor and everything will be mounted on the outside over here. I'd consider mounting it on the inside. I'm concerned that it'll interfere with my spools, but I mean, that is two feet there I got to work with. So, uh, yeah, we'll post more as I go. Alright, so here we are. Um, check out what I did. I added a, um, a holster for my clippers. Thought that was pretty cool. I got the, uh, power supply mounted and the switch in place. I manufactured the power supply mount here out of that plumbing tape stuff. And then uh, it's just a matter of getting the wiring in place and the motor mounted. Done.